Hello and welcome back to the Moodle course development video series. I'm Joe Deegan and in this section you'll learn how to customize the layout and appearance of the front page. So let's go ahead and get started. Now that you know how to access all of the editing settings, it's time to go to work on the front page. In this video I'll show you how to customize the layout and what appears on your front page by configuring the front page settings. So let's get started by going to the front page settings, which are accessible by clicking on Edit Settings in the Current Page Settings section of the Settings block. So here you can see Edit Settings right here, so I'll just go ahead and click on that. Once you're in the front page settings screen, you have several settings to choose from that will allow you to change the look, the layout, and what appears on the front page. Starting at the top, you have fields to enter a name and a description for the site. Whatever you put in the full site name field is what will appear in the header at the top of the site. So you can see mine says JD Deacon Consulting, so that's what I have here. And whatever you put in the short name is what will appear here for the home page on the breadcrumb links. And then whatever you put in the description field will appear in the description block on the side of the front page. So this is useful to let users know what the site is used for. And then if you scroll down a little further, you see you have options to choose what appears on the screen for users who are logged in and for users who are not logged in. This is a really nice feature that allows you to display different content based on whether your user is logged in or not. For example, if you don't want guest users to see your available courses or news items, then you could use this option to hide those items from users who aren't logged in. You have options to display news items, which would be posts that you add to the news form on the front page. A list of courses or course categories, or a combination list of courses and course categories. If you want to display all these items, then you would select each one using the drop-down menus. And it's important to select them in the order that you want them to appear on the site. For example, if you want the courses to appear at the top of the home page, then you need to select that first. And then whichever items you select underneath it is what will appear underneath the list of courses on the front. So I select a list of courses first and then news items. So my courses will be towards the top and then news items will be underneath that. So let's try a couple of different layouts for logged in users and users who aren't logged in to give you a better idea of how this works. For logged in users, We'll set it to show a list of courses, and how about news items underneath that? And then for non-logged in users on the front page, we'll set it to none so that nothing appears. So this would be a good example if you don't want people who don't already have access to see your courses or, or any news listings. Then after changing those settings, we'll scroll down to the bottom and click Save. And so you can see right here it says Changes Saved. So now I'll go back to home page to see, see what happened. And then right now I'm logged in, so you can see I have the list of courses here. And then if I scroll down further, I have my site news. Nothing's been posted in it yet, but it would be there if I posted anything. So now let's log out and see how that changes. Okay, now I'm logged out and I can't see any courses or the news listings. So that's a good example of how you can change what appears on the front page based on the user's role of whether they're logged in as a student or if they're just a guest. And like I brought up in the last video, you can also customize which blocks appear, where they appear, and who they appear for by turning editing on and using these editing icons. And these icons are covered in more detail in the next video covering blocks, so make sure to watch that video to learn more about how you can customize the blocks and the sidebars of your page. That's the key settings for choosing what appears on the front page, but if you go back to the front page settings, there's also some options for choosing how the course and news listings are displayed. So if you have a lot of classes or a lot of news listings, you don't end up with a really long page. And that about sums up the front page settings. Okay, time for a little practice. Now that you know how to access and configure the front page settings, it's your turn to customize the front page of your Moodle site. Think about what you want logged in users and non-logged in users to see on the front page, then set it up so it's customized for your needs. By configuring the front page settings, we're able to customize what appears on the front page so you can create a front page ideal for your users, whether they're logged in or guests. Next, we're going to talk about how you can customize your site further with blocks.